I started to watch it yesterday throughout the day. I had one of those days where everything went sideways and ended up doing nothing. It felt like it was a Sunday because my kid, one of my kids got sick. And then I was going to this one place and I ended up not going. So I literally was home all day. Um, so I thought, I'm going to catch up on my TV. So I started watching this scary TV show. And I noticed something about the TV show that's it's not about what's on the TV show. It's kind of like, remember that movie, The Ring, where you watched a videotape and then all of a sudden people died that watched the videotape? Mm-hmm. In seven days. Yeah. So I started watching The Haunting of Hill House earlier in the week. And when I was watching it, my wife walks into the bedroom and starts talking to me about something, right? And her and I, we've been together a long time and we rarely have any fights, right? But we got into a fight uh, and I don't remember what it was about, but we got into a fight. Now, I was watching that movie, that TV show, when we got into a fight, I paused it. Yesterday, I'm catching up on it again. She comes upstairs and starts talking to me about it, and we get into another fight. I'm like, what the hell? So I thought, you know what? I'm not going to watch this anymore. Is, it, am I, is this show putting out that energy that's making my wife and I get into a fight, right? So just a little, and I'm looking for an excuse to not watch the show <laughs> because the ratings of this thing are huge. Everyone's downloading it. It's the biggest thing on Netflix. So then... On the show, on, on episode one or episode two, there's a scene where there's a ghost in bed with this guy. And I, don't, I think it's his wife who, I think she committed suicide or something. And he turns and there's her face right next to him as he's lying sideways, right? In, in the face, because she goes, <laughs> like that, right in his face. And then, it, and then it cuts. So, cut to last night. I'm in bed. I'm asleep. And I swear to God on my life, my wife starts going, <laughs> Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I swear to God on my life. And I also heard that when someone's having a nightmare, you don't you don't want to wake them up because like bad stuff happens. If you know, if you're like, wake up, you're having a nightmare, and that screws them up. So I didn't know how to stop her from going. <laughs> so I, I grabbed her hand and held her hand and I squeezed it and she didn't squeeze back. And I squeezed it and I squeezed it and I thought, oh my God, is she dead? Right? And I kept squeezing her hand and nothing would happen. And then finally, I like shook her hand a little bit and squeezed it and then she squeezed me back. And I squeezed her twice, and then she squeezed me twice. And I went, are you awake? She goes, yeah. I go, I think you were having a nightmare. She goes, I was? And I go, yeah, you were. And then she goes, somebody was chasing me with scissors. Somebody was chasing me with scissors. And I'm like, okay, good night. I went back to sleep. <laughs> now, and I wake up this morning, I'm like, was any of that real? <laughs> Do you know how dreams are? <laughs> right. Sure. Like, yes. I'm like, wait a minute, was that real? Did that, did you, because why would she go, ah! right? She didn't see the show. Now, then I got up this morning, I'm like, I am done with that show. <laughs> I got to episode three, I am done. Oh. Done, done, done with that show. There's too much, like, there's too much, like, it's just bad.